In this video, I am going to explain the difference between an amorphous polymer and a crystalline polymer. Polymers are long chain molecules comprised of small molecules known as monomers. For different polymers, the monomers are different. Here, we can see that the monomer of different polymers. The different monomers lead to difference in chain rigidity and intermolecular chain interaction. In the plastic product, polymer chains do not exist in elongated form as shown here. They either exist in a coil form where chains are randomly arranged or in a form where part of the chain forms highly oriented region and some part remains in a highly disordered region. The highly ordered form of the chain is called crystalline region. So, if a chain forms crystalline region, the polymer is called crystalline polymer, but in reality, they are semi-crystalline polymer. A polymer cannot be 100% crystalline because a whole polymer chain cannot be part of crystalline region. There is two main reasons for that. First, chain ends are chemically very different than main chain, so they cannot be part of a crystalline phase consisting of main chain. Second reason is one chain belongs to two or more crystalline phase. So the part of the chain between two crystals remains in the amorphous phase. Anyways, an amorphous polymer is one where all chains are randomly oriented whereas a crystalline or semi-crystalline polymer are those whose chains form both amorphous and crystalline phase. Now, the question is why a polymer chain will form amorphous or crystalline phase? The first factor which controls this behavior is monomer type. As previously mentioned, different monomer leads to difference in polymer chain rigidity and intermolecular chain interaction. So monomer which lead to polymer chain with higher chain rigidity and poor intermolecular chain interaction forms amorphous polymer because chain cannot bend or fold to form order crystalline phase. Therefore, chain of some polymers like polycarbonate, ABS, polysulfone are always form randomly oriented structure which is called amorphous region and therefore these polymers are called amorphous polymers. On the other hand, chains of polypropylene, polyester and polyamide are sufficiently flexible to fold, thus they can form crystalline phase and therefore these polymers are called crystalline polymers. But it is not necessary that if a chain is flexible, it will always form crystalline phase. Crystallinity also depends upon orientation of side group in the polymer chain. Like here, we can see side groups of polystyrene polymer is oriented in different ways. So chain which is symmetric like isotectic and syndiotectic chain can only form crystalline phase, not the asymmetric atactic chain. So, polymer chain containing side groups can be both amorphous and crystalline. The third factor which dictates polymer's ability to form crystalline phase is cooling rate. A PET bottle is the best example of amorphous polymer made from crystalline chain. During manufacturing, if products are cooled very rapidly, there will not be sufficient time for polymer chain to form crystalline phase. So even if a polymer chain can form crystalline phase, they will only form amorphous phase on rapid cooling. Till now, we discussed what we cannot see. So let's discuss the difference between amorphous and crystalline polymer which we can either see or measure. First major difference 
between an amorphous polymer and crystalline polymer is transparency. Every plastic product which is transparent is made of amorphous polymer or polymer present in amorphous state. Transparent lenses made of PMMA are example of amorphous polymers whereas PET bottle and film are example of crystalline polymer in amorphous state. On the other hand, semi-crystalline polymer forms opaque product like milk bottle. Strength is another big difference between amorphous and crystalline polymer. Crystalline polymers are usually stronger than amorphous polymer. So whenever polymer parts are required to bear load, crystalline polymers are preferred. Examples are ropes and fabric made from PET and polymer polymers. Some amorphous polymers are also very tough, like polycarbonate. So amorphous polymers are used in the application where impact strength is important. One such example is phone cases and displays made of polycarbonate. In case we are not sure if the product is made of amorphous polymer or crystalline polymer, we can measure their thermal properties using DSP to know if it is amorphous polymer or crystalline polymer. In DSP, an amorphous polymer shows only last transition, which is the property of amorphous phase. And as crystalline polymer have both amorphous and crystalline phases, they show both last transition and melting behavior. In addition to that, Crystalline polymer also shows crystallization point, which is the temperature at which crystals are formed. In summary, amorphous polymers are those which forms only amorphous region, and crystalline polymers contain both amorphous and crystalline regions. Some polymers are inherently amorphous, and some can be made amorphous by controlling conditions. Amorphous and crystalline polymers have very different applications because their properties are very different. Finally, amorphous and crystalline nature of polymers can be tested by DSP. To learn more about the properties and crystallization behavior of polymers, please subscribe to our channel and watch our videos on this topic.